Jimmy, firstly, it'll be your first time leading Scotland in the Six Nations. It must be another memorable moment in your Scottish career going. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's a real proud moment for, for me and my family. And uh, like I said it before, like captaining Scotland's a privilege and I don't take it lightly. So yeah, I'm delighted to be to be doing it. Yeah, Dad, uh, you were captain in the autumn. Do you feel you're growing? I know you are a leader of club as well, but do you feel you're growing in your role? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, I think so. It's... Um, for me, like leadership is something that I'm really interested in, like away, like off the field as well, and something that I kind of read a little bit about and and look for feedback on. So, yeah, it's a constant kind of work on for me, just like how can I be better and uh, what things work, what things don't, how things land maybe when you speak to the group and, and things like that. So, yeah, that's... Uh, that's quite interesting you say you read on it off the pitch and also ask people for help on it. Explain that a wee bit more. Uh, yeah, so... Sometimes, like when you speak to the group, if you say something or um, you try and take a certain angle on something, like you never really know how it's landed in people's heads. So, um, for me, someone I go to quite a lot for stuff is maybe someone like Grant Gilchrist or Stuart McAnally. These guys kind of look for feedback in and around, like maybe how something's landed within the voice, how it came across, if what I was trying to say works, and then also kind of sharing that out as well between different group of boys. Often, like. <coughs> If people are hearing the same voice all the time, then can sometimes fall on deaf ears. So making sure there's a little bit of a variety in, in what guys are. Last year, at the Six Nations was disappointing for you with injury. Are you even more determined this year to have a good championship? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty good start for us, but then a bit bittersweet for me being injured in that, in that England game. Um, but yeah, for me, like I'm just glad to be back and uh, have the opportunity to, to play again. So yeah, now looking forward to to getting stuck in this year. Where do you feel this Scottish team is at at the moment? Do you feel you are underachieving a wee bit? Uh, oh, it's hard to say. I think in the, like the individual parts of our game are probably there. It's just putting them all together um, into a complete kind of 80 minute performance. I think you saw in the autumn that um, I think every game we played in were probably the better side for the majority of the game. Um, but those two games, that Australia game and that New Zealand game, just didn't put the, the kind of finishing touches on a few bits, I think especially that New Zealand game where we're, we're on the line and penalised three times, like less than five metres out, it's, it's tough to take and that probably would have taken the victory. Um, yeah, for us it's just about kind of capitalising on those moments and uh, putting together that, that complete performance. But we're confident in our ability and in our competitiveness, it's just like I say, uh, making sure we get our Yeah, the fine moments in international rugby, but the back row, obviously now you playing, Matt Fagerson, if Hamish Watson is back and fit, it's a great combination there going forward, isn't it? It's particularly with the World Cup down. Yeah, like we're we're pretty settled. I think it's been the mostly the three of us for the last wee while. Um, so it's nice we've got a good relationship together. I think those two guys have been some of our standout performers. I think Matt, especially, like in international rugby, is is starting to really find his his form and starting to excel. I think his form over the last, well, certainly last year and into this year has been has been outstanding, which is great to see. Uh, and we all know what we get from Hamish, like he's just an absolute grafter. So yeah, hopefully he's back fit and firing. Yeah, hopefully for you guys he is. If we take the first game, Twickenham <laughs> against England, you've actually had a good record against England in the recent years, but it's going to be a different challenge, especially with the new coaches. Yeah, definitely. And I think uh, the last time we played down there, there was no crowds. So that'll probably be an element that comes into the game. And um, it's, always, it's always a tough match. I think the thing with the Six Nations is that every game is a tough game. And uh, for us, like we can take confidence from the last couple of years, and that we've that we've had the upper hand in this fixture, but it'll probably give them a bit more of an edge as well. So look for us, we're concentrating on ourselves, and, and we're confident, and we'll take confidence from the, the last couple. Of years. Yeah, definitely. And finally, just with the World Cup down the line, how do you balance trying to win this championship and then heading into the World? I think certainly for me, I can only speak for myself. Is um, like treating them as, as separate things. Um, I think the thing with rugby is you never really know what's going to happen. Um, so if you start thinking too far ahead, then sometimes you don't get there. So for me, it's um, Six Nations, that first game against England, and then we'll go from there. Great stuff and all the best. Thanks, nice cheers.